everybody, it's Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be about quitting your job and how to properly do it and just some mistakes that I've made in the past that I've learned from or just some things that have happened to me that I have learned probably not to do in the future. I've actually gotten a couple of questions recently about, you know, assistants quitting jobs and they're asking proper ways to do it or sharing their experience with me. So I thought this would be a great video just to try to help you guys with the process because it can be a very stressful process quitting a job, even if it's on good terms or bad terms, just stressful all the way across. So I'm gonna talk about my very first dental job that I've ever had. And I did not quit that job the proper way. The proper way to quit a job, of course, is giving you know the two weeks notice. Some jobs do require more of a notice. I have worked at an office that required a 30 day notice which I'll get into that job too, because that job wasn't that great of experience leaving either. But I'm going back to my first dental experience. So most jobs require you to give a two week notice and you want to type one up. Um, I don't usually do handwritten ones. Um, I usually always type them up just so they're a little bit more formal and you want to keep a copy of it for your records and then give them a copy of it. And you want to give this copy to your manager or to whoever you have to give your notice to your office manager, the dentist, um, whoever gets that notice within your office. And like I said, you want to give them a two week notice. Now, some things that you kind of want to avoid is if you're thinking about quitting a job and you don't want to tell anybody, you want to be careful if you do put them as a reference on your resume because on your resume if you give that to another office they could call your current office and ask you know about you and if your current employer doesn't know that you're leaving that could be an awkward thing that happens that hasn't happened to me but it's happened to a few people that i've worked with so you want to be careful with that um if you're putting them as a reference on your resume make sure your office knows about it because that could be a very awkward conversation. <laughs> so yes, you wanna give it to your manager or dentist, keep a copy for yourself. You wanna give two weeks notice, and then you can start you know, adding them to your resume as a reference. Um, if you're not leaving an office on good terms, let's say you don't get along with the dentist or you don't get along with the manager, but you wanna use that office as a reference, you can find someone within the office that would give you a good reference. So. I say just use whoever in the office that's gonna give you good reference. If it's a friend that works there, that's an assistant or you know a receptionist, whoever within the office would give you a good reference, put them down. Don't put the person down that might not give you a good reference um, because why? <laughs> you don't wanna do that. You wanna have a good reference from that office. So once you give your two weeks notice, um, and then your last two weeks, you wanna make sure that you're going to work, you're not calling off, um, you want to make sure that you you know work those two weeks properly and yeah that's about it that's the proper way to give a notice now back to my first job as an assistant i worked within an office i have a story time about it um you know it's working for the worst dentist in town my personal opinion um, but <laughs> i did not give a two-week notice i was one of the last dental assistants working within this office. I was very stressed out. I didn't like working there. Um, I had already had another job lined up and they could hire me like right then and there. So I worked up until this doctor was going on vacation. So it was like a Friday and he was actually gonna be off for like the next whole month. Granted, he was gonna have a few dentists coming in a few times during the next month. Um, for like oral surgery and things like that, but he actually was gonna be out for the next month. So I worked to this Friday and I actually just wrote up a notice saying that I was not gonna be working there anymore and to please mail my check to my home address and I left it for the office manager. Definitely not the proper way to do it and I will never do that again. It's just that in that situation, I felt very uncomfortable giving a notice. Um, I felt like it was a hostile work environment and it just felt very uncomfortable. I wasn't ready to do that. But yes, that was definitely not the right way to go about it. And I should have given a two week notice. I should have done it properly, but I didn't. And I do regret that because I could never use that office as a reference. I could try to use somebody that was a receptionist there at that time, but for me, it's just not worth it. I don't, 
I don't think that Office has a good reputation. I don't really care to use it as a reference. It's never really affected me. Um, and then another assisting job that I've had actually required a 30 day notice and I gave my 30 day notice and they actually only let me work a few days and then they put me on call. So they actually were not very happy that I was leaving. They didn't want me to leave. So they kind of took it out on me once I gave that notice and every state is different, but in Oregon, they're allowed to do that. So as soon as you give a notice, they could tell you that they don't need you anymore. And I actually did not know that until I gave this notice. And I was really upset because I gave a 30 day notice. I had another job lined up, but I told them I couldn't start for 30 days. So they gave me a 30 day start date. So I had no job or no work for like three weeks. And it kind of turned into like a nice little vacation, but I was really stressed out about it. And yeah, so I did not know that. So you can check your state guidelines, but here in Oregon, once you give a notice, they can just terminate you right then and there or put you on call like my office did. And that wasn't fun, but I survived. Um, you can try to get unemployment. I tried to, but it was just like a big headache and it just didn't work out. So I didn't get unemployment at that time either, but yeah, keep that in mind too. Like once you give a notice, they can just lay you off right then and there. And then I've had some questions regarding assistance, you know, working at an office that they don't like, and then them, you know, walking out or just quitting that day, which can happen. You know, we're, we're humans. We, you know, if we get frustrated, we have lots of emotions or we don't want to work somewhere, we can just walk out. Just keep in mind that if you do do that in an office, that that's an office that you're probably not going to be able to use as a reference. So definitely keep that in mind. Also, I don't know if this is how it is in every state, but especially where I live, um, a lot of the dentists, assistants, hygienists, they all know each other. They, I do live like not in very large, you know, towns or cities, but they all know each other and offices, you know, talk and they're referred to certain offices to do certain treatments and things like that. And a lot of dentists know each other and hyg hygienists and assistants. So just be prepared that word might get around that you walked out of this office. And believe me, I know, cause I've been there. I did the same exact thing at my first office, but now I just know that I can't use that office as a reference. And I don't, I never use it as a reference. I will only talk about that office if I'm like talking to a friend and I'm like, oh my gosh, this one office I worked at. Otherwise I don't use it as a reference at all because they would just probably say that I didn't give a proper notice and I walked out. So it's just not a good situation. You don't put that on your reference. So a proper notice of course would be giving the two week notice, typing up a letter, keeping one for yourself, for your records and giving them one. And then an example of a notice would be like if I were typing it, it'd be like, I Cheyenne Buckaloo and give it, am giving my two week notice on such and such date. My last day of employment would be this date. You know, thank you for everything you've given me and all, all the opportunities you've given me. And then I would just sign it and I would give that to them and keep one for myself. Um, you know, if you work like in a larger corporation, you could send out an email. The things you just don't want to do is you don't want to be talking about it before you do it, because if word gets around to your manager before you're able to give your notice, it could look bad. You also just want to make sure that you're showing up your last two weeks and still being a good employee um, just because you want to make sure you get that good reference. Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. And then, like I said, it's perfectly, I've done it. So I totally understand people that have walked out of offices because they felt like it was a hostile environment or they didn't like the way they were being treated. That's going to happen. So I totally understand people that are walking out of offices and that have talked to me about that. I've done it, like I said, <laughs> I've done it. But just remember that you're probably not gonna be able to use them as a reference, but um, yeah, so it's perfectly okay. You know, it's taken me, I've jumped around to quite a few different offices. I've given proper notices. I haven't given proper notices. I've given proper notices and it's kind of bit me in the butt, but just try to keep in mind that this is your reputation as well. And especially in this dental community, a lot of people talk, so make sure you're you know, giving your two week notice and you're doing it properly and you're learning from your mistakes in the beginning. Like I have, I have made mistakes in the beginning about giving notices, but I've learned for them. And I know now to give a proper notice because word does get around. 
like when I quit that first office and I just kind of walked out, she actually called the school program that I went to, one of my instructors and told her and she called me and basically was telling me that that's not the proper way to quit an office and how that looks bad on my part. And I explained the whole situation to her about working for him and how uncomfortable I felt and she understood where I was coming from. But I remember my instructor being like, this is not how you do this. And if you continue to do this in the dental community, it will get around. So I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, just keep that in mind. It is your reputation. And like this random office manager just called my instructor because she knew I went to this program and told her. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you are quitting a job, it can be very stressful, but just make sure you do it properly. And then, you know, if they choose to let you go early or if they're being rude to you in your last two weeks, just remember that you're getting out of that situation. And then if you have made the mistake like I have before, like in the beginning, just learn from that and try to give a proper notice because that is your reputation. And if it does get around, that could look bad on your part. But yeah, anyways, I'll quit blabbering about this. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.